Hey everybody, it's George at Redox, joined by my friend Candy to tell you a little bit about Redox on Fire and what it means to you. If you're a healthcare developer, Redox on Fire means you have the option, if you are exchanging data using the Redox platform, to interact with a fire conformance specification. So this is an alternative to our existing Redox data models. Uh, if you, for some reason, really want to use fire, you now can do that. Um, so really excited to make that available to you. Uh, second, uh, we, if you're a healthcare organization, Redox on Fire actually allows you to start exposing a fire conformance specification that developers and partners can interact with without depending on your EHR's rate of adoption or implementation. So really what we can do is we can take your existing interfaces or your existing web services and we can abstract away from that and expose this consistent fire specification, which can be used to exchange data across the Redox network. So really neat if you want to accelerate how your organization is using fire. Uh, the one thing I want to call out is that the initial support of Redox Fire is limited to fire messaging. So fire messaging follows message-based exchange. Think your classic HL7 V2 event is triggered, specific set of information is transferred to, from one entity to the other. We're not supporting RESTful Fire to start. So that would be where you would be able to query for granular resources on an ad hoc basis. Why did we start with this? Basically because after integrating hundreds of healthcare applications at organizations around the country, the reality is, is that most workflows are actually still event-based. This, this ability to query for granular clinical components is, is neat and, and is gonna be great and we're gonna support it in the future. But where we're seeing integrations today, it really is more patient is scheduled, patient is admitted, patient is discharged and then an application wants to be notified of that, receive certain information about that event, and then trigger a workflow. So we basically looked at what components of Redox platform were being used the most, so patient admin and scheduling, and we are rolling out our initial support of Fire with those two data models. There'll be more on that in my product announcement post. Hey Candy, take it easy. So we will get into the details there, but just keep that in mind. Um, the last thing to keep in mind with that is that Redox on Fire is going to have bundled resources. So this means each message is gonna be comp composed of a number of Fire resources. So this means you're never gonna to have to patch together a bunch of API calls and say, okay, I got the patient, I got the coverage, I got the practitioner. It's always gonna be a clinically relevant event and we're gonna have a, a prepackaged bundle of resources which is gonna be delivered uh, using Redox, Redox Fire. So really exciting stuff, really excited to get you guys um, in there and using it and, and getting feedback from you. Um, we will be expanding support pretty rapidly, so make sure to stay stay tuned with us and, and reach out to us if you have any questions. Uh, for now, uh, you know, if I could summarize it in, in 30 seconds, if you're a healthcare developer that wants to use Fire but still enjoy all of the data consistency um, and workflow normalization that you've come to appreciate and expect with Redox, you can do that today using Redox Fire. And if you're a healthcare organization that wants to accelerate what components of Fire is available or you're using it, you're using it your organization, Redox on Fire allows you um, to, to, to accelerate that without being limited to your EHR vendor and, and their rate of adoption or implementation. So basically, we're able to take your existing HL7 v2 interfaces or your existing EHR web services and we're able to translate that to a Fire conformance spec which developers can interact with. So, uh, that basically sums it up for now. Uh, I will get into more in, in future blog posts and, and hopefully some of these videos, but wanted to introduce what we're doing with Redox on Fire and we're really excited to get you guys up and running. So uh, if you want to learn more on this page, there will be a webinar, which you can either register for or if it's in the future, we'll have the recording. And then I have my product announcement post and our press release and we're going to be adding white papers and stuff in the future. But for now, I'm super pumped to make this available to all of you. Uh, really excited for your feedback and that's it. Say bye, Candy.